I feel that a lot of strongman competitors, they miss out on the kind of benefits that they can get of using the anterior chain. When we're talking about the axle clean, for instance, and we're wanting to produce force vertically and wanting to pop it up rather than just pull it back. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, you know, I think staying pretty straight on the axle is kind of like the way to go. Um, You don't want to, especially that last pop, if you're leaning all the way back, there's no room for you to kind of really catch it. You're you're also at the throw it and catch it leaning back. So I think staying pretty vertical is, is right, but I think the issue with, especially on the, maybe on the clean, so maybe from the, let's just say from the, from the ground to the waist or above the, above the belt to like the sternum, a lot of times it's all very high, highly, um, of course, highly used in terms of your using your bicep and leaning back. So that's why I've seen so many uh, bicep tears over the years is because yeah. um, of the axle clean. So you, the, so I was mentioned before, if you're good at muscle cleans and power cleans, you're going to be good at axle cleans. So in that Olympic movement, you're shrugging up the weight, you're, you're pulling, you're, you're pulling with your traps, finishing with your elbows, and then turning over the bar and pushing those elbows through to catch the weight usually. Uh, and that's kind of the same way you got to treat the axle clean, you got to shrug, you got to shrug your way and, and really use your elbows um, when it comes to um, getting that weight um, over. So the last thing you want to do is, is pull that. Cause again, it's got, especially if you're in a reverse grip, you're going to pull that you're really going to hurt that bicep. So like as much as like power you can work on um, again, keep it getting to the point where you're like a, like a T I, I would say per se, that's going to be like the best way to really move that um, axle around your body. And I, I think this is something that people undervalue in terms of the, like they'll listen, they'll hear this and they'll feel like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll just do it when I go to the contest or whatever, or like have that in my back pocket. That's what I did. But realistically, it's something that you need to train, isn't it? And you need to feel like, I can imagine what that feels like, 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 like letting go and move and rotating around the, around the axle. But like I, I, I see so many people like they, they, they just they just keep hold they, they just won't, won't let go of it um and I think that's more of a there's a comfortability kind of thing like when we talk about the conservative movement versus something that's a little more high risk high reward the high risk yeah. high reward is going to be a little more technique it's going to take a little more time outside of just brute strength training but it's gonna pay dividends just because it's the either the proper or the right right technique or the closer technique towards that per that perfect one for one ratio that we look for.